basically set and reach goals. Okay, so that's the idea of the budget. Okay, so we're also going to be evaluating things. Okay, so we're evaluating performance. Uh, we're analyzing things uh, for the future. Okay, another key component of the budget process is communication. Okay, so we're communicating our goals. We're also communicating the things that we uh, find through evaluation and analysis. Okay, and so that's kind of some of the key components of the budget process. And we'll see how this works as we go forward. One of the things with uh, the budget committee basically is put together uh, to create the budget and, and to carry out the budget process. Okay, so this happens, uh, typically it's going to be um, the middle managers um, in correlation with uh, supervisors and top management to kind of move um, the, the uh, budget um, from the bottom up, basically, so in this direction. Okay, so our, our budget timing, so we have an operating budget which typically is a year-long budget, so it's a 12-month budget. Uh, we have something that's called a rolling budget, where basically, uh, you know, it's, it is what it, it sounds like. So, like, for example, here we have uh, January, right here at the beginning of the year. As soon as January is complete and we have actuals, then the next budget... Uh, one of the steps in the process is to then go on to the next January and complete it. That way we have a complete 12 months that are continuing. So once we get one done, we cross it out. So we go on to the next month, which is February. As soon as that's complete, then we go ahead and budget for the next February in 2013. So in this in this sense, it actually kind of crosses, can cross actual fiscal years or, you know, annual um, uh, calendar years as well. So that's a rolling budget. Okay, so this is the master budget uh, process or the components of the process anyways. It all begins with uh, the sales budget. Okay, so the sales budget is the basis of all these other things. It's part of the operating budgets. Okay, so the operating budget consists of sales and also the uh, the purchases budget. Okay, that then will also include as we roll up uh, capital expenditures, so things like plant equipment, those type of things. Okay, we also include in that our selling general and administrative budgets. Okay, so we have to include that for the for the full picture, right? Uh, sales and purchases just basically get us to our gross profit amount. Uh, throw in capital expenditures, which makes it more long term, uh, with some fixed costs, right? And then some more uh, selling and general administrative costs uh, help us complete the picture for uh, income statements, our total cash management, and um, our balance sheets, which is, is this component here at the end, okay? So I'm, I'm not going to necessarily talk about numbers as we go through this first uh, grouping, but I'm going to talk about the major components and what they're made of. So the sales budget is the foundation. It's, it's basically, it's made up of uh, estimated unit sales. So this is, this here is your number, right? the number of sales that you're going to have, okay, and the unit price, all right? So that's that's your dollar bills, that's your dollar sign here. So the number uh, times the price equals total sales amount. We base this off of several things, um, economic con and market conditions, right? Depends on the company on exactly, or do they run counter-cyclical to the economy or do they run in, in uh, line with the economy? Uh, what market is are you uh, operating in, right? Uh, what industry? What are the trends there? Uh, also, 
uh, customer needs you know what is demand looking like for your market okay and so so that all goes into the sales budget uh, it tells us you know how many units we're gonna sell what price can we charge for and that'll get us our our sales um, amount okay then we go on here uh, to let's skip ahead to the merchandise purchases budget okay so that's it's all dealing with our inventory right um, different expenses can come in uh, on how we budget for things depending on what type of system we're using for inventory okay whether it's just in time uh, whether how big of a safety stock how much inventory do we keep on hand okay and that's all letting us know what are the assumptions that are behind our purchases uh, they're going to be linked to how many sales that we uh, that we're anticipating having okay they're going to be linked to the sales budget that's the foundation of the budget but how much of a safety cushion do we have when do we order what's our percentages of how how much the, uh, that we need to how much inventory do we keep in relationship to our sales that we're going to make okay so this this is um, it should be pretty pretty familiar as we talked about inventories and how we deal with those uh, it's it, it is flipped backwards a little bit here because we um, so what we're doing is is we're uh, kind of backing into a number that we want to have to budget for. Okay, so we so this is this is basically how it's how it's put together. Um, so our our budgeted inv ending inventory is added to our budget cost of sales for the period. Okay. So, um, so basically, we're going to budget. We're going to say, based on our sales, this is what we think our ending inventory is going to going to be, and this is uh, our our cost of sales for the period, right? So this is what we're actually going to be selling. So that that kind of backs us up. So we're starting at the end here, right? We're adding on in what happens in the middle, or our sales, our activity for that month. We're subtracting out the beginning, or the the beginning inventory number, and then that leads us to uh, the number here at the end that we need to budget for, which is uh, what do we need to purchase for our inventory to keep uh, to meet our cost of sales needs to hit our ending inventory amount that we want to hit uh, based on what we have at the beginning okay on our budgets so those are the components and we'll see how it works here as we get into the numbers so our selling expense budget it's all based on so our assumptions of how much we're going to be paying for commissions and how much we're going to be paying for salary pretty simple General expense, the same thing. It's going to be how much depreciation are we going to have, depending on the, our capital, and then uh, what is our general and administrative salaries. Okay, so as we put those together, capital expenditures just depends long term. Do we need new equipment? Do we need to replace any? Uh, do we need to are we going to build a new factory you know those type of those type of big long term questions and that'll fit in as well we're in this scenario we're just going to make one purchase during the